Hello everyone, Yanni Plays here, and today we are going to build some more trees. What we're going to build today are spruce trees. Now the spruce tree is my go-to tree when I need to have a lot of trees built in a very short amount of time. The time it took me to build those two trees here and put all of the decoration and landscaping around it is probably about half of the time of what it takes me to build one of the large oak trees. And that is in creative, because in survival a tree like that is going to take you even longer, where one of those spruce trees is not going to take you much longer. Now when we look at spruce trees, they range anywhere from 60 to 200 feet. So you can do them in a lot of different shapes and variation and in a lot of different heights. Now this one here I would call a medium sized one and right next to it is actually a fairly small one that has just one singular trunk. Uh, but of course you can build those if you want double the height. Uh, and they are still going to look good and we're still going to use the same method to build this tree. Now for spruce trees, I'm using the spruce log and I'm using the dark oak uh, wood to go with it. Now for leaves, on the big one here, I actually use two different types. I use the spruce because they have a dark green and then I put some birch in it that have a little bit a lighter shade. Now on a tree right next to it, I just use the spruce so that you also have a good side by side comparison on which you prefer. Now let's build our spruce tree right next to those two so that we're going to end up with a group of three. And we are going to build one that is a little bit taller than this one here. So we are starting with a 4x4 four four, and then eventually we are going to pull one side up all the way to the height that we want. And then we are pulling one of the other sides up about halfway. And a third one about maybe two thirds the way up. So that our trunk is thinning out towards the top. Next, since we are building a fairly tall one, that means that the bottom branches are going to be with logs and then as higher up we go, we are changing to fences. So as you can see on this one here, at the bottom I used logs and then of course put the fences out. Uh, this row here also is logs, but then up here we are going on to the fences. And over here, as you can see, all of them even the ones at the bottom are just fences because this is a singular trunk tree. Now we're going to place our first row of the branches around and here we kind of have to decide do we want something where we can walk in like this one here or do we want one that is going to touch all the way at the floor. So let's just start here about five blocks up and we are going to build out. And here I'm about, I'm about eight blocks out. So, and of course that completely depends on how tall your tree is going to be. So we are trying to go with a uh, triangle shape, like the Christmas tree shape that at the bottom we're wide and then we're taper in. And you always can cut down a little bit or add a little bit more onto your branches if needed. Now at the bottom I'm trying to have uh, a total of 6 to 8 branches coming out so that we have a nice full coverage at the bottom and as further up we go as thinner this coverage is going to be. Then on evergreen trees like this spruce here, we are going to slope our branches down. So as you can see, we have seven branches coming out and now we are going up to the next level. Now actually before we do that, let's pull this one here out just a little bit more. Now we're going up about four blocks and we're pulling another large branch out and slope it down to the bottom and on here we are going with a little bit less branches so i'd say here we should end up with maybe five and also the branches are not going to extend out as much as the one at the bottom row 
Now here we are going with about uh, four to five branches. So we're reducing the amount of branches a little bit. Now I'm going up some more and I'm going to put in my last row of the big branches because after this one we are going to reduce down to the fences and again like the ones below we are slowly starting to taper in. Now as you can see here I'm a little bit tight I'm just stepping back one one and one so I probably go and add another one here at the bottom just to make sure that I'm having a more uniform tapered shape. And once we're going to the fence gates, we are doing the same as what we did with the larger branches. And now that we're in a fence territory, we are also going to reduce the distance in between. So here we are just going uh, two to three blocks apart. Now on our way down, we are adding a few more fence posts onto our larger branches. We are doing exactly the same as what we did in our uh, four step tutorial. Well, and pretty much in any other tree that we already had a tutorial on. But here we don't put as many on. And of course, if you would like to have a tree that has bigger gaps in between, then you just put in less branches and it's going to be uh, not as full. Or if you would like to have more in it, then you just add more branches. So it is, it is up to you. What do you want? Do you want to have a full tree or do you want to have a few gaps here and there? Now at the lower end of the trunk where you have big gaps in between, you also can put some smaller fences in here. And I think now we are ready to get started covering the whole tree with leaves. Now this tree here, I am going to cover every block of wood. And of course every fence post. So that majority of the wood on the branches is going to be covered. And we're going to pull the leaves all the way towards the center. Now, if you want that the tree has more a uh, hanging down feeling in the leaves instead of going out straight, uh, try not to put too many fences at the end on top of it. Rather add them at the end over here or even better at the bottom. Now the step four on spruce trees is very simple. Step four is if you remember the texturing step because here we don't have that much to texture because the trunk is mostly covered. So where on other trees we're going to use a lot of different wood types like logs and stairs and slabs and everything. Well here we just have the trunk to texture. And of course if you want you can add a few different colored leaves. And on this one here I'm going to do that. And we're doing that as always with just uh, replacing a few of the leaves here and there. Or if we have some gaps somewhere that we would like to fill, we just add a few more. Now it's also a good time to step back a little bit and look if we have the taper that we want. And if I'm looking at this one here, I actually would like to fill this hole up here just a little bit. So I'm going to use some of those birch leaves to just place uh, one or two blocks over here to kind of get this gap a little bit filled. Now to texture the bottom of the trunk, we are going to do our usual. We're going to uh, flare the root system out a little bit. Uh, again, you also could use some stripped locks here. So as you can see, some stripped dark oak looks fairly nice. We can put a few of those in and then just a little bit of texturing here and there. Now around the ground itself, Again, you just blend it into whatever area you need. As you can see here, I put a lot of pots all down. Because pots all just reminds me of a dark forest floor. And underneath the spruce tree, it for sure is going to be dark. Now this tree here, you also shouldn't have any issues with mobs spawning in a tree and falling down on you. Because every single wood block uh, that a mob could spawn on is covered with leaves. So we shouldn't have the issue as what we have, for example, in a large oak tree that you may have mobs dropping on you. Mushrooms around here, maybe some moss and cobblestone, our moss carpet, maybe a few dead bushes. 
And also the dead bushes are nice to actually build some smaller trees. Just put a little leaf block on top so it looks like a little sapling that is growing. We can grab some fern. And some of our stairs we even can waterlock to give a little uh, illusion of a little puddle or something here. And to build those three trees, including picking out all the material and setting up the areas and recording, what means that uh, some of the things I built twice, it actually took me less than an hour to build those three trees. So that is a fairly quick way to create a small little forest somewhere next to your base. Now, if this tutorial helped you building your tree, please go ahead and give me a like. As a new YouTuber, a like really means a lot for me. And if you want to see more about how to build trees, I have a playlist where we're building different types of trees. And you also can go ahead and subscribe because uh, the trees that you see here are not all the ones that we're going to build. There are a few more coming over the next few weeks. If you have any questions or suggestions, uh, put them down in the comments. I am looking at all of them and I hope I'm going to see you at the next video. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.